Okay, so in case you are interested in finding out how to freeze one or multiple rows in your Excel sheet, like you see here in this example, then let me show you how this is done. So here I just have this uh, sample data in this Excel sheet. And on the very top, I have this these titles here. And I want to freeze those titles. I want them to be always visible when you scroll down. So this is the title. And right now it's always disappearing when you scroll down. So how do we do this? So what I'm doing here is I select the row right underneath the title or the titles and then I go here to view and then I select freeze paints and then here again freeze paints. And when I do that you will notice here right between the uh, second and third row is like a thicker, a little bit thicker line at this point. And now when you scroll down the top two rows will stay frozen and they won't disappear anymore. Okay, so now we can do this with the row, but we can do the same thing here with the column. So when you move the column left and right, you can freeze one or multiple columns. And you do it the same way with view and freeze paints after selecting the column next to the one that you want to freeze. See, and now I've selected the B column and now the A column is always frozen and always visible. But at the same time, you have to notice here before the row that was frozen, this is now unfrozen. So now the title is not frozen anymore. And that's because we did the column, we froze the column. And you can only freeze the column or a row. You cannot do both at the same time. So now I'm going back to freezing the row again by selecting the row three and rows one and two are now frozen. All right, so this is it. I hope this video was helpful and please, if you have a question, then leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.